Uh, so this isn't really going to be like any of my other videos that I've posted on this channel. Um, most of the videos I produce are quite like fun and happy and kind of like about productivity and tips and advice about living in London and things about technology. This video isn't really going to be like that. Um, it's not as fun. Uh, basically, a few days ago my bike was stolen. Um, so. I live in London, as you'll probably know if you've watched any of my videos in the past. Uh, unfortunately, part of living in London does mean that there's some not <laughs> not so nice people around. Um, some of them are willing to come into your like private areas, and that's definitely not how I should have phrased that. They're willing to come onto private property and steal your possessions. This happened to me last Tuesday, uh, I think it was around kind of two in the morning. Uh, a bunch of guys just came into kind of the bike lock in my building or the bike uh, storage area. Um, as I'll show you in the CCTV later in this video, uh, they very easily kind of cut through the rack uh, that my bike was stored on, took my bike right off, they didn't even cut through the locks on my bike, took it away, took someone else's bike and also from looking around kind of the bike storage area, you can see where quite a lot of other um, kind of racks have been cut. So I'm guessing that this isn't the first time they've done this. Um, also from the video that I'll show, it looks like they have some kind of fob or access key to that storage area because it is a locked storage area that requires a fob. There's no evidence that they kind of had to force their way in. And it also looks like the door wasn't left open. Uh, they open the door with ease, so I'm guessing they have a fob, so they'll probably be back again for other people's bikes. So why am I making this video? Well, first, I just kind of wanted to tell the story. Obviously, it's not a nice or fun thing, but a lot of my channel is about living in London, so this is part of living in London that I think is worth talking about. Uh, second, I want to show you the CCTV footage because I think that is quite interesting um, and maybe entertaining to some people. Uh, third, I want to give some tips towards the end of the video just about things I've learnt from this experience of getting my bike stolen and what I'll do differently in the future to make it have less of an impact on me uh, as there's definitely other things I could have done uh, to make my bike maybe more safe and also in terms of like insurance and coverage. And finally, I'm kind of hoping quite a few people will watch this video and maybe I'll be able to earn a couple of quid back on the monetization of this video for buying a new bike. Just being honest there. So let's actually take a look at the CCTV footage because I think that's the most exciting thing about all of this. Um, someone else who got their bike stolen in the same building as me managed to get this CCTV footage and uh, obviously we've gone through everything with like reporting it to the police and giving this footage to them already. Uh, however, I thought this would be something interesting to show as um, yeah, they were in and out of this this storage in a matter of minutes um, with a couple of bikes, so it's very easy for them to do. So you can see we're 17 minutes 53 into this footage. Uh, my bike is the one here with the kind of neon uh, green like accents on the black frame. Um, it was probably one of the nicer bikes in the storage unit. Um, which makes me think I was kind of stupid to keep it in there instead of keeping it in my actual flat where it would have been a lot safer. So you can see also the door here, you can see it's um, completely shut, it's not at a jar. Uh, and then the CCTV camera's on the roof looking, looking at the door and you get a good view of all the bikes. Uh, so if I click play, then you can see this is them. Uh, no evidence of them kind of forcing the door open, you can see they just walk straight in as if as if they lived here. I'm obviously not suggesting that these people live in the building, however they've obviously got a fob from somewhere, so whether they bought it off someone in the building, uh, if they found it on the floor maybe, or stole it from someone already, uh, who knows, but yeah, they have access to this door, which also means they have access to the rest of the building, which uh, isn't great. So you can see here, there's a group of, I think, four of them. You get pretty clear shots of some of their faces. Obviously, they're wearing masks because I'm sure they're very safe with COVID. There's no other reasons why they might be wearing a mask. Uh, so there's one, two, and then a couple more will come. So here's two more of them. So this guy here, he's the one 
who actually um, cuts into uh, the rack that my bike's on. You can see they've actually gone straight to my bike, which um, is a bit strange. Uh, maybe it just stood out. There was a bit of a gap between mine and their one, so maybe it's just the first one they saw when they came in. You can see they've got this like electric hand drill, which uh, literally goes through metal like butter. Um, obviously, it would have made some noise. Uh, my window is actually one of the windows kind of looking over this bike storage one, and I obviously heard nothing, so um, I guess it's just they would in and out so quickly if it did even wake anyone up. They'd have probably been gone by the time anyone would have known what's going on. So yeah, they then uh, cut through the metal on the rack, very thin bit of metal, and within less than 10 seconds, they're through it. So at this point, my bike isn't locked up anymore. It's already effectively stolen. So they, uh, yeah, they, you can see that the lock is actually still on. So they've managed to take the lock um, off, the, off the rack. Um, they haven't actually unlocked the lock. But these two, they actually looked at that bike there, but they probably noticed maybe it was more securely locked up than mine. Um, one detail that um, ended up being quite important in my bike getting stolen was that only my back wheel was locked to the rack, not the front one as well. I think if both were locked, then maybe they wouldn't have taken it as it would have taken more time. Uh, also, if my front and back wheel were both locked, I would have been covered by my insurance, but I'll talk about that more later in the video. So yeah, as you saw, they tried to get this one here. They didn't manage to get it. They quickly moved on to this one. Meanwhile, their friend um, has yeah taken my bike and they go they go off with it, gives it to their mates. I guess they've got like a van or a car or something outside because as you can see, the lock's still on there. Meanwhile, this guy is um, is taking another bike. I assume this is the bike that belongs to the person who sent me this video. As in this specific video, it looks like they only take two. As you can see again, very clear shots of like the people who are taking it, so hopefully the police can do something about this. And again, within less than 10 seconds, they cut through that metal. You can actually, oh, if I just go back, you can actually see this is what they're cutting through. Um, and you can see that, that was the rack that my bike was on. So this metal is, is very thin. Um, so maybe if you are storing your bike in a similar location, maybe just take a look at how how thick kind of the metal is that you're attaching your bike to. If it's like this, maybe keep in mind that it's probably not safe. Um, just a piece of advice there. So yeah, like my bike, they take this guy's bike and this is then done. So if you remember, we started watching at about 17.53. Less than two minutes have gone by, about a minute and 20 seconds. They've taken both bikes and they're gone. Which, uh, yeah, which sucks, to be honest, but um, that's it. And then the rest of the video, there's nothing more to see. So I'll just stop that recording. So yeah, that's how it happened. Um, very annoying, obviously, but let's try and turn it into something that we can learn from. So what have I learned from this experience? Uh, the first thing would be definitely that these kind of shared storage areas aren't as safe as keeping your bike inside your flat. Uh, if you have a balcony or if you have space to keep it in the hallway of your flat or in your bedroom or somewhere like that, it's very unlikely to get stolen compared to these kind of shared storage areas where um, maybe 50 or 100 people have access to them, obviously your bike is a lot more likely to get stolen. Additionally, despite the fact that it's in a locked room, obviously lock your bike up to the rack. Um, and then going even a step further, maybe use two locks, so that will just make it less likely that they're going to go for your bike if they're going to steal a bike at that time. As you saw in the video, they went for another bike, saw that it was probably too hard to get out, or they just weren't going to be able to get it, and they decided uh, to go for another one. So maybe if you decide to put two locks on your bike, it's a bit annoying, but it might actually save it in that situation. So that's kind of ways to reduce the likelihood of it actually getting stolen. But if you've done those things, um, or if you haven't done those things, 
but you want to make sure you are protected by your insurance if, um, if it does get taken. First of all, do you get insurance? I actually had insurance and it included out of home cover. However, um, I didn't end up being covered. So um, my bike was worth kind of £850. So that's £850 that I'm never going to get back, which obviously is annoying. But at this point, there's not much I can do about that other than wait for the police to see if they can find anything, which is unlikely. So if you don't want to make the same mistake as I did, what can you do? So first, make sure you read the details of your insurance. So the area that I got caught out in is that um, if the bike is stored outside of your home um, and these shared bike storage facilities count, of out, count as out of home storage, then the rules that apply to that are slightly different. One of the rules that applied to mine was that the front and back wheel had to be locked to the frame. If it was just the back wheel, then you are not covered. So despite the fact that it was in a locked room, uh, the frame and back wheel were both locked to the rack, um, I still wasn't covered. This wasn't something I was aware of before. Obviously, I didn't read the conditions of my insurance policy well enough. So make sure you don't make that mistake like I did. So that's all the advice I really have to give about it. Obviously, uh, going forward, I'm going to probably treat my bike use and storage very differently. First of all, I don't think I'll buy as an expensive bike again in London. I think the risk of having something that expensive in London is just kind of a recipe for disaster. And additionally, I'm not really in the position to go and spend like almost a thousand pounds on another bike for it then to get stolen in a few months time again. So I'm probably going to buy a much cheaper bike this time. So if it does get stolen, it doesn't really matter. Uh, additionally, in the future, I'm obviously going to um, be more careful when I pick the kind of insurance that I have. I'll also be more careful in the actual locations I store my bike. And apart from that, I don't think there's much more I can do. Uh, hopefully, the advice in this video um, will help you not get your bike stolen. It's a pretty rubbish thing to go through. Wouldn't recommend the experience. Um, but yeah, I think it's just one of the downsides of living in a city like London. There's so many upsides, but yeah, things like this do happen. And uh, I think that's all I've really got to say on it. So uh, thank you for watching all the way to the end if you have done. Uh, follow me on social media at Jack Jenkins YT. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it or if it helped you. Comment below any thoughts on the situation and subscribe to see more of my videos. And hopefully I'll see you in a more fun video next time.